Get Ready 3's Josie Hart joins us out in Stockton to show us how some residents are trying to navigate the aftermath. It's been a very rough start to the week for many residents across the county. Thousands remain without power and others are forced to take cleanup efforts into their own hands, addressing flooding and the damages around their properties. In Woodbridge, one resident is taking matters into his own hands to clear out this fallen tree. My chainsaw was already ready because I had a, a tree fall at a rental in Lodi. So I thought, well, I'm all ready to go. So I jumped over here to uh, knock out some of this stuff. This tree knocked over several wires and snapped a power pole as it tumbled down. Some are thankful just to have their power back on after hours long blackouts. For nine hours, it went out right away. As soon as the winds kicked up, the power went out. Thousands across San Joaquin County remain without power as PG&E crews continue to go out to restore power for affected areas. Many locals say this is their first time seeing this level of damage from a rainstorm. Here in the Strickland Drive neighborhood of Stockton, residents are knee deep almost in water. Some of them aren't even able to drive out. It was like a lake. Here, the neighbors also took it upon themselves to rake up leaves, clear storm drains, and sweep away some of the water. We were kind of scary because the um, good thing is still raining. Otherwise, the houses that would be overflowed, you know. The residents say they have not seen any city crews come by their area, but are taking all the precautions necessary on their homes as they wait for the next downpour expected on Wednesday. We don't want, you know, suffer the same thing because for the kids, and yeah, especially the kids, you know. The city of Stockton is currently out of sand for their sandbags until tomorrow. In the meantime, for anybody in need of shelter, there are four warming centers open here in Stockton. A city official tells me that they did not see anyone come by on Sunday when they opened up, but they're hoping that with this downpour, more people who need them will take advantage, and those are expected to open at 8 o'clock tonight. Reporting live in Stockton, Josie Hart, KCRA 3 News.